mind is a very powerful thing. Yeah. If it's used to something, it's hard to just like leave it out, you know? Mm -hmm. It takes time. Mm -hmm. And for you to be able to leave a person like that, a narcissist, a, a controlling, a freak, a, a psycho, for you to be able to leave that person, you need a, a support system. Yeah. But mind you, this psycho has made sure that he isolates you from your people. Mm -hmm. Who are you gonna tell? Amante Brown. Hi, how you doing? What's up? Can I'm I okay. like um, no, I want you to say Amante. You know why? Yeah. Because I feel like I have rushed to get into Ama first yeah. before I taught people how to pronounce the Ama. So right. usually people say Amar, Amara, you know? Yeah. So I was yeah. just like, you know what? Let me just go back to Amante. They already know who Amante is. Yeah. Amante Brown. And then as we go during the interviews, during the podcast, like now I can literally tell them that M A A R is Ama Brown. Ama you know? Brown. Yeah. But yeah. for now, you can say Amante Brown. Yeah, it's been a minute, dude. A while, dog. A while. Why are you saying? Why are you saying a minute? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah. Yeah. So yours is like. Um, from rags to riches type of story. What do you mean? <laughs> From rags to riches. <laughs> no. Yeah. Remember some years ago, almost 10 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. When you're still like trying to be in the industry. Skinny amount. Ugly <laughs> <laughs> No, you're still looking hot. No. I don't no. know why people say that. I really like to appreciate that that phrase and really describe myself like that. Because yeah. I feel like me looking that way has really saved me in terms of I, I didn't have to slot my music with pom pom pom, you know, yeah. or just I, I just I was just genuine. I just submit my music and they played. I guess the grace was sufficient. But me being a little bit tiny and skinny and, and not looking attractive saved me from a lot of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I was the struggle back then. Sure. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Yes, sis. Sleepless nights going yes. to that studio in no West. food. Yeah. Sometimes know nothing, you know, yeah. like struggling for tampons because I was doing mineral engineering at UB and uh -huh. then All of a sudden I just felt like I need to have a pause to just like just see what can happen And I gave myself a year, but in that year I'm so glad that I managed to mine as deep as I can and have proper songs that got me to this yeah. position yeah. yeah, you mentioned that like uh, you've been struggling to get tampons the struggle that a lot of girls are going through, right? And they've been going through, yeah. Like, what, 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 what would be going through? Like, and it's like, and which solutions does one eventually come to? Yeah. Um, as in, when I didn't have tampons, what happened? What yeah. did I do? Yeah, yeah. Even Ooh, like, how, what? I have to say, it was crazy. You know, yeah. it's crazy moments whereby you suffer so much and you don't have anything, but you end up going to extents of using like a toilet paper or if it's there or just have a plan of using a sock i don't know if any other people have used a sock and you wash it yeah Ew, disgusting but yeah those are the things that people really go through so i want to urge everybody out there that how would they donate tampons do this do that don't take it for granted and say it's a small thing it's really a big thing some people don't have means to get to that yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah. i went through that and i thank god that it's in the past now yeah it's in the past <laughs> Now you're owning businesses. <laughs> oh God! You're playing money first. No, what do you mean? <laughs> we invested the money to to multiply the money. Yeah. Yeah, I think Corona taught us so much. Uh -huh. uh, um, COVID. I remember we we're not gigging. It was the perfect time for me because you remember, from Bob Black Wambatira from Bofolo, I was so loved, you know. Yeah. And then it got to a phase where I got in a relationship and got a bit distracted and I wasn't really focused in the music and it's like people like like drifted a bit away from me. Mm -hmm. So COVID made me like re recuperate and put myself together. Yeah. And from that from then uh, I just realized that okay I needed time to have an Usa and not have any other pressure. But there was no money during COVID. That's you can't perform, you can't get paid. You Ish. understand? So you're just like, you learned that, hey, you need to have other means to get money in. But how, how are you surviving? Can I, can you, there's no gigs. Two years, two to three years, like, yeah. not a gig. I was blessed. I was blessed to have a big song. And that big song made me gig uh, probably three times a week. So I was able to make money that I saved. I'm, I'm a saver. Yeah. I saved, so it, it managed to, the reserves managed to sustain me in that two years. So sort of like savings? Yes. 
Yeah. So you already save in semester. And on your starting from scratch. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. Hey, it's not bad. Roughly how much was it was in the savings account? No, stop it. I am not saying that you but how about what you call it the bad side. No, I'm refusing. You're refusing? No. Yeah. Yes. So like on the come up they like um Obviously, a lot of people try to take advantage of you. A young girl, innocent, beautiful, very talented, and you want to break through. Like, uh, did you come across any such of those? I just said that I was small, petite, yeah. and ugly. So that saved me a lot. Uh -huh. You know, I, I came across as not attractive. Yeah. You know, so I wasn't the type of girl that most guys were looking for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just like, oh, it's that, it's that girl who sings. That's it. Hey, Oh, again. Okay. Come and drop like one All right. That's it. So. So you can say that you survived that uh, part of Nika's trying to no, get like. No, to be honest, I don't want to lie. I did. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And now there's the breakthrough. The breakthrough. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's when we met, right? Yeah. The, no, we met during the struggle. Oh, I, we when I came to you're still working for a newspaper. Yeah. And and you 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 made a story about me. That's yeah. when we met. Yeah. And um, I once picked you up, gave you a ride like uh, on Jewest, and I was dropping you off. I think in one thing. You gave me a ride. Yeah, around 10 p.m. Oh my God. Yeah, you're what? coming from a studio with uh, Nature Boy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Dude, we're from way back. Way back. Skinny days. Jesus. Yeah. 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 Oh my God. Well, <laughs> the breakthrough. Yeah. It was Black Mamba Tile. Total, total, let me say, the, the breakthrough was Moratua when, when I realized that I have potential, right? And then the real, real breakthrough was Black Mamba Tile. Yeah. So you remember that Moratua was not as big because Khao Narantua released Kopisa. Yeah. So Kopisa buried Moratiwa. Uh -huh. And then I, I, I went back to the table and I thought, you know what, you need to write a song that is just unstoppable. That is a monster. Yeah. And fortunately, Black Mampatile came through. You, you know that I used to go studio by studio to just fetch for that thing. Yeah. 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 And those were, those were beautiful moments. Despite the stroke, it was like... Like amazing moments. I don't even know how I did it. I don't know how I got to connect with these people that I got to work with i don't even know how i spotted them because when you just start you're just like it's like you're in the bush and you're just like where am i gonna go you know what i mean yeah but my my anger from being eliminated from my star by the way i was eliminated on the 10th spot just fueled me to want to prove to the judges that they've made a mistake by eliminating me you know so i just started digging i started with one producer and then one producer introduced me to the other the other to the other then apparently i i, I knew I knew people and then I got to have ones that I clicked with. It's yeah. about the connection that I had a connection with, which is Obilado and Beat Slayer. And we created magic. Created magic. Yeah. And my star, like you're one of the few people to be successful from my star. Like, is my star really a thing Who that else is can... successful? I said one of the few. I don't want to mention people. Okay. Yeah. Like, Fair one enough. of the few. Bakur, like, bah, they blew up. Yeah. Fair Do you enough. think my, my star is really putting people on the right platform to make them be musicians? I feel there was a point where my star was, was a, a good platform for kids out there. And, but I felt like the, the winners relaxed a lot, yeah. you know? So when, when, when you are comfortable and when you are given an opportunity like that to go and record overseas, you just feel like you have made it. But I feel like they could have pushed more or they could have even made them, they could have introduced them to the studios even around so that they can be able to do a follow up. I feel there was no follow up plan to the contestants after they've won. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So any hard feelings towards my star people? It was, it was what? Any, any hard feelings? No, 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 no. They uh -huh. gave me a platform. I think from that point I just realized that I, I have, I love this thing. I have a passion for this. That's the, the, that platform, the my star platform is the one that showed me and I can make a living out of it. And it introduced you to Botswana? Yes, yes. Because every time somebody sees me, it's like, like you can vote. Dude, up to this time. Like you can vote, I'm going to go master. I'm like, oh my God, my star is like 100 years back, bro. <laughs> but yeah, so you see the platform that it gave me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Remind me, there's a lady who was cleaning at my office back then. Every time when you come to she's like, I'm like, I'm going to vote. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
<laughs> How does it make you feel when people say such things? Um, I don't know. It, it feels good. It feels good. It's just the, one of the things that I don't put in my head because I don't want them to make me feel like I've arrived when I haven't or those are the things that are going to make you stop working. But I really appreciate people giving feedback. But I don't take it to head like that, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Speaking also like uh, when, you, when you blew up. Yeah. Like you, you know, so all of a sudden you're, you're, you're a pop star. Bookings left, right and center. Mm -hmm. Man is coming through. Mm -hmm. You go from the township. Like did that even change your mindset and how you see life? Not really. Yeah. But it changed my behavior in terms of I didn't have to go everywhere uh -huh. or wherever I just wanted to go, you know? How I drink my drink, yeah. how I sometimes speak, I have to speak twang when yeah. I just want to be like, hey, bring that thing away. Hey. And I have to be like, hey, bring that thing away. Yeah, you have to be a lady. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so I think that part is the one that changed, but the mindset itself where like Ubuntu, humidity, mm. um, uh, humanity and everything else where you you are just on a list on a boat and you have what's it like a that thing has really never left me oh. putting yourself in people's shoes it's something that really never left me as well but yeah. I became I don't want to say I became hard I've always been a hard girl in terms of I'm assertive in what I want I, I say what I want and I say it with power and and control you yeah. know yeah. yeah, yeah. So um, now earlier on, you, you said in your words, you're not good looking, but now every guy wants to to jump on you. Hey, no. <laughs> Peru, Peru. How were the 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 the, the, the like the, the hits when guys were trying to hit on you? Um, I'm just one kind of Mm. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to talk about the present. I think Lenny he's tired of hearing me talk about him. <laughs> oh. Like, we need to bury this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I feel like that because it's been five years we've not been together. So I feel it's time we bury this and not really ask about it. But yeah, I was in love and mm. we were very close friends. And love looked good on you on that time. You, that and time. I was fat when I was looking like Katawa like, Yeah, Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and there the, the were rumors that now she's pregnant. Yeah, but I wasn't. Yeah. I don't have a plan to have a baby anytime soon. I don't want to be pregnant. But that, to be honest, I don't want a baby. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't want a baby. I don't want to get married. Okay. But I'm a sucker for love. But I just you, want a partner. You've just broken people's hearts when you're saying you don't get married. Maybe someone was trying to send their uncles on your way. You can send my uncles, but if we're not friends, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything? No. People uh -huh. need to understand this whole thing. Marriage is not the final answer to, okay, I've made it in the love concept. The love concept is so wide and complicated, you know? So yes. if, if two people don't really understand each other, below what are you saying? Are we going to call them back to come get that house? Because that definitely will call your uncles, come get your cows. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah. Yeah. So after that, like you, also there was what you call, like a lot of like negative uh, headlines. Mm -hmm. Yeah, negative headlines. Kid, hey, my mind about you know, what's going on, bro? Yeah. Yeah, uh, What was going on during that time? I think it was just a dark cloud on your, like, over you or something. Yeah, uh. a, a, a lot of dark cloud. That, that stayed there for a while and didn't move. And it impacted me very badly. And I was bitter about it until I got to, to, to like, meditate about it and be square with it and say, you know what, this happened and there's a reason why it happened for you to learn and to understand that you need to do more because as you if you if I can take you back to my brand my brand was a very clean brand it was just like dresses and I didn't talk a lot I didn't show my character a lot I was just doing music interviews that's it you know what I mean and then I was just a corporate girl doing yeah. corporate gigs one two one two while I'm just chilling there I just my fingers typing just changed my life yeah in a second, uh -huh. there's a, a post that comes and then somebody says, um, uh, the comments on Dr. Guru's uh, page, but very negatively. Yeah. And I was trying to show people that it's a fake account. I just screenshot the comment and I was like, this is a fake account. Just that yeah. changed my life. Yeah. Yeah, and you can imagine how painful that is. You just go back and feel like, I wish I could, I, sh I shouldn't have done that. Or I wish people could understand it differently because that's not what I meant. You know, you know that it was, big that I even had to do interviews about it. Aish. So, yeah. yeah. 
Uh, is it because maybe also you were within the wrong crowds of people, you were hanging around with the wrong people? Which wrong people? I've always hanged out with the, with the same people. With the same people? Yeah. No, I mean like, it's only these scandals, like the negative headlines and stuff like that. No, that one was, was about... I've never heard scandals about my life or whatever. It's about what I said. Oh, what you said? Yes, uh -huh. the, the first scandal was about the, the name thing, that Amantla Brown, there's another Amantla Brown, yeah. and they feel I'm bullying her with her name, right? Yeah. And then the other one was about my star, I'm bullying the kids at my star, I'm saying they should wear what, what, what. I used to be there, dirty too. They gave me a chance. <laughs> <you know? laughs> but there's this one, but it seems like you're dating some guy in the beach up or something. What? Whereby you were dating a guy, like, and then he beat you up. No. Oh. No, I wasn't dating that guy. Mm -hmm. what, what happened? I wasn't dating that guy. We, we were just at a... How did it go? Wow, I need to remember. Okay, we, we were... No, we were just chilling. Uh -huh. And then all of a sudden we said we should go to the studio, right? Yeah. In Block 5. When we got to Block 5, I was the one driving anyway. I was driving his car. When we got to Block 5, he found other people recording. I think it was Modern Scar. Yeah. He got inside and he got interested about it, right? But yeah. we get okay, no, let's let us go to the filling station to grab something. I drive to the filling station and he says, Ah oh, no, you are not gonna leave me here. You wanna leave me Lynn Doja. He gets in the car, we go to the filling station. So as we're going, he's still talking about, ah, you guys wanted to take my car and leave me, right? Yeah. And I'm I keep brushing it off. I'm like, no, why are you saying that? Why would I go somewhere with your car? Ah, when we were just there by the filling station while I was still talking. Oh my God, hey, I've been through a lot. And how, how, how was that like moment? Like how traumatic was it? You were in a shock. Imagine I'm with you right now and you just slapped me. Or we just have a, a back and forth with me and you and then you just slap me. Imagine, you, you, you get shocked. You don't react immediately, you're shocked. Because mm -hmm. I got shocked and I was like, yo, yeah, dude, what, yeah, what are yeah. you doing? Ish, can I, you know, this alcohol that we love so much can really make us act in a weird way too, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I think he just got influenced and then we got out of the car, there were people there. But the weirdest thing is this, when a guy is fighting a girl, yeah. they hold the girl than the guy. I never understand that logic. Who, who is stronger? It's the guy. Yeah, it's the guy. And who was fighting? The guy. Why are they holding me? I. It always happens though, do you know that? Yeah, I've noticed. But hey, the, 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 the society that we're living in now, we have guys who are boxing women for fun. Like, yeah. well, 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 like as a big sister, what can you say to these girls who are in such relationships? Is this the last question? We're still talking. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, I, I just want to say to people, mm. I don't know if I want to say this story, but, but let me just say it. Yeah. We trust too much as human beings. I'm not, I just don't want to say girls or men. I want to say human beings. And I may be in love with you when I dream mm -hmm. And I'm going to trust you with everything. I'm going to go to your house. I'm going to uh, uh, drink freely around you because I'm thinking I'm safe, right? Yeah. But not really. I just want people to have it at the back of their heads that they're not really safe. And the minute somebody shows you a sign of bo psychopath, bo narcissist, bo abusing, bo controlling, those things are not, are not just in your head. They're really happening, you know? Or somebody wanting to isolate you from your friends. That happens. Mm -hmm. So this is what happened. Um, I was with my friends and then this boyfriend of mine just keeps asking me, okay, 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 okay. I keep telling him, no, kiko bukete, kiko bukete, kiko bukete, right? Yeah. And then he comes to... Why am I telling you this story? No, we're talking. No. We're talking. No. This is a podcast. Rabu why am I telling you this story? <laughs> no, this one I'm reserving it. Yeah. But Jela, just talk about the consequences. I think. Take your time, breathe. Dude, somebody took me to the bush. Eish. Do you understand what I'm saying? Eish. You know that moment where you think somebody's going to kill you? Mm -hmm. And you are in the middle of nowhere. And do you know how many women have went through this? I don't know if you get what I'm saying. No, I get what you're saying. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know why is it that I'm saying this story and it's coming back to me in that way because it makes me feel emotional. I should be laughing about it, but I can't laugh about it because it was real and it was traumatic. Mm -hmm. And I know that girls, by they have been taken to the bush or that girls who have been bitten 
to a point where they can't even breathe at all or they're yeah. in a coma you know or the girls that were taken to the bush and never made it back they were killed right mm -hmm. guys please when it gets to that point walk away that's yeah. what i want to say walk yeah. away yeah. report the person who does that to you mm -hmm. because you may leave Mari. he is going to the fact that he got away with it he's going to do it to somebody else mm -hmm. You understand? Why is it difficult to, not, not to leave though? It Let me ask you this. Yeah. Have you beaten a girl before? No. Swear to God. Swear to God. Why are you smiling? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never eaten a girl before. What do you want to say to men who beat women? To men who beat women? Yeah. I, I feel like um, action has to be taken against them. Action has to be taken against them and also it goes back to home, like Kola being. Yeah. Like, um, as men, we have to be natured, like, in a certain way, like, not the way that I was raised, I was raised by both my father and mother. Yeah. I've never seen my father putting his, his hand on my mother. Yeah. So that's how I grew up, like, knowing, no, it's wrong for me to do so. Mm -hmm. So I think maybe I seen my dad doing that. You would be doing I would be doing the same. So um, I, I also, I'm also of the view that, like, Majita Khurabitza Machir, they grew up in such broken homes whereby their yeah. fathers were beating their mothers. Yeah. yeah. Because a kid, a kid like, uh, parents are like a mirror to a kid. What you do, your kid does it. So what do you want to say to the, to the guys who abuse women right now? Uh, you have to change, guys. Like, go for counseling. Counsel yourself. Like, as much, you don't have to meet up also. Talk about these issues. Like, let's talk about these things. Like, let's talk about these things. I get you have a disease of beating women. I call it a disease. Mm, it is a disease. Yeah. If you, if you have a disease of beating up women, like, um, Tell your friends, what am I guy? Like, and I think I did this. And then, if it means we sort you out, we sort you out real quick. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> I love that one. You know what? Yeah. And these guys need to know that we have brothers who care about us, right? Yeah. And I think it's high time these brothers sort these guys for real. Yeah. You know, yeah. man to man. Yeah, man to man. Yeah. Two minutes later. Mm hmm. Yeah. Like, pa -pa -pa -pa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but why is it that it's difficult for, for, for a lady to leave when there are such red flags? The mind is a very powerful thing. Yeah. If it's used to something, it's hard to just like leave it out, you know? Mm -hmm. It takes time. Mm -hmm. And for you to be able to leave a person like that, a narcissist, a, a controlling, a freak, a, a psycho, for you to be able to leave that person, you need a support system. Yeah. But mind you, this psycho has made sure that he isolates you from your people. Mm -hmm. Who are you going to tell? Who's no. going to be your support system? No. You see, they're intelligent. They calculate. Mm -hmm. They don't just do. They calculate. They make it seem like they're the ones who are there for you. They love you so much. They appreciate you more than even anybody who exists in the world. Mm -hmm. And that's what your mind is getting used to. That's the pattern that is registering in your mind. And it's hard to get over it without support. And yeah. they know that. Yeah. 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 So, like, we really need to have more of this, like a real men's conference. I'm telling you. Yeah. But you can have conferences. Do you know right now you can literally be with, with a, you can be sitting right now after yeah. this podcast. You're going to be sitting with a guy who just killed a girl and buried the girl. And right now the girl is reported missing, but you don't know. Yeah. And that guy is smiling with you. Yeah. 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 It's, yeah. It's, it's, it's a habit. It's a character. And mm -hmm. it's about that person wanting to be a better person. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can yeah, go you. to all the conferences in the world. How many conferences of rich people has it have, have been made? Come, let's let us show you how to be responsible, make money and everything else. And how many people attend those conferences? Uh, but if you don't have discipline, do you yeah. think you can you can get to what is being discussed in the conferences? No, you can't. Yeah. 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 No, you're a strong woman, bro. <laughs> I know I am. And God loves me. Yeah. I know I am and God loves me. For the things that I've been through, I call myself Kiribon. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm telling you. Mm. Like um, you, your story is similar to almost every girl. Yeah. Yeah. Every girl has a story with a guy with yeah. they're abused yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, would you say like women are in an endangered, endangered speech, species? Yeah. They are. More especially when you are completely in a in a in a in a control environment by that next person mm -hmm. so many issues like this happen when people cohabitate mm -hmm. and oh and and right mm -hmm. and it means the guy's in full control mm -hmm. yeah so can i manage yeah no for sure yeah. and i don't know there's this disease also where men just feel like they want absolute control from for, to to this next person you yeah. know yeah. so i'm a very outspoken person and i think 
I, I come across as difficult to manage uh, or difficult to set in that trap because I'm outspoken. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. But I know. I pass. Pass. So how about you, Iraya? No, I'm good. How about you, Iraya? Ah, no, I'm good. Or you have toys or something. Ah, no, I just know I'm good. Uh, yeah. You, in that situation, you, you just could. I'm good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. super. You're super. Yeah. And the vultures during Ella Moindas. Which vultures? I can't go to much Italy record De La Honia and I can't blow it like. What are the vultures by recording? No, I don't think Baba Gang Honaba. Eh. No. Corporate Honi. Corporate? I have never really thought. Oh no, I tried corporate. They are crazy, those ones. Eh. Hey. He's the one that took me to the bush. Yes, yes. Is this a prominent guy? I know, stop. Eh. Hey. I don't want to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> But you, are, you see now, yeah. you're trying to have uh, to, to diversify the whole thing in terms of, oh, I've tried industry, let me try corporate. Mm. But, but when I was saying corporate, I mean, like, in the corporate world, like, if the other people have tried to, like, uh, try to hit on you in the name of, like, uh, no, I'll give you a gig, brah, like, uh, I'll endorse you, like, an ambassador gig. Ah, uh, no. I don't know why I've never met those things. Where somebody feels like I need to, I want a chair for this. Yeah. No, I've never met that. You've never met that? Yeah. Okay. No. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. No. All right. No, I, I feel you. I feel yeah. you. That's why I carry like a strong woman. Maybe people feel like, um... I mean? I don't know. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. What do you think about me? Ah, and I've known you bro, ever since like, we're like in our early 20s, I guess. Early 20s? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Truth though, early yeah, 20s. Yeah. Early 20s. Yeah, now I'm in my early 30s. I don't know about you. Maybe you're still in your early 20s. But no, you know, I am in my early 30s. Yeah. 20s, yeah. Yeah. So, um, we've always cool, like, it has always been cool vibes. I just feel like yeah. if, if, if people don't know me so much, you yeah. know, but with this podcast, people will just get to realize that ah, Amanda is this type of person. As I was telling you, I wasn't revealing myself as much, and it's easier for somebody to have a perspective without more information. Wow, but, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, there's a sound behind there. It's money. <laughs> <laughs> it's money. That's Amantia's money. You can't even tell the guy to, 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 to kill the sound. Oh my god. That's Amantia's car wash behind there. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you, you're not owning a car wash? Yes. I'm uh -huh. owning a car wash and it's by Phase 4 behind the Kota. Uh As I was telling you, whole COVID just taught us to just like go oh, hula you know? Yeah. And I'm just gonna literally just invest the money for performances and 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 put it in different things i have i have a biltong as well okay it's called i'm a biltong wow yeah so i was still like just testing the market with with the the packaging i wish i had it now oh my god this is so horrible Would for my kids horrible for my kids <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah. i need to be focused yeah. well and the packaging itself you, you will see just how i packaged it i took my time and i and then i took my time with the taste I just wanted it to be different and I was very deliberate with how I was mixing everything and how the salt is where you, you see so it's like the music too I was cooking and Something mastering, and, mastering. Yeah. and you know yeah, yeah. so yeah. right now I'll be working on how I can now spread the build on because I think we are ready we have tested it and people love it they love it yeah it's, it's addictive I'll you know, pass by and get a packet you know please yeah. You know, somebody just calls and says, where's the built on when? I was like, no, don't worry, we're testing. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Um, why, why is it that it's difficult for some of your peers in the music industry? They make money, blow it on drugs, alcohol, women, and men. Yeah. But when I like it, you put it, you plant it so that you grow it again. It's direction. Uh. I, 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 and I don't blame them. If you are starting and you're doing that, you are, you, are, you, are, you are inexperienced, right? Yeah. And I was making quite a lot of money then, and now I realize that every single cent that I'm making now is very vital. I don't need to be that girl who was excited, who was, oh, what's happening? Oh my God, I have money. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, let's fuck it up, you know? Yeah. yeah, so right now I'm literally like focused. I realize that I need to build something for myself. I need an empire. I, I am having so many ideas that are just gonna unfold with time and I'm just gonna use this performance money to just stash it on something that can generate money every day. Yeah. Yeah. But if you 
some people don't even make like a thousand every day. Do you know that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you may take it for granted. So, so, so you, you sometimes watch the cars, right? Yeah. yeah. Yo, DIY, bruh. Yeah. DIY. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm serious. Like, you need to learn. I, I'm, I'm, I'm hands on and I like to learn certain things. So that next time people don't show up, you're able to do it yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, how's business though, like as a woman, hustling? How's it? As a woman. I, it's, it's cool. I don't think we need to stop thinking there's this thing of as a woman and as a man. Yeah. We're human beings who are able to apply our minds, think the same way and everything else. One time. Marry. How to namo jobo ngobori as a woman. It, 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 you are. Mm -hmm. You should just know that e job, e job. Yeah. You know? Right now I have a car wash and people think it's a men's thing. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, you give you a hell of a thing. Right now, the men who are cooking, it's a, it, but some people view it as a woman thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, it has to be a man. As long as it's a new. Yeah. Mm. Like, new is the point. New is the one. Yeah. We eat the man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but enjoying your money, dude. Huh? I am. Yeah. I am. It's fun. It's, it's, it's. You know, mm -hmm. I don't feel like I need to do anything for anyone to get what. Um, I, I don't feel like I need to box myself. If I feel I don't want to do anything, I don't want to do it because I'm spending my own money. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I, I like doing my own money. That's why I like working for my own money. The minute I spend it, it feels good. It feels feel feeling. You know. Yeah. 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 So when I built in your house. When am I building my house? Yeah. There is. Ish, no, I don't want to reveal this, but there's a place somewhere when after the Roberts by the hills. My house is gonna be on the hills, bruh. Kokai, Kokai. <laughs> hey, 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 I, well, every time I pass that place, I just say, God, you're God right now. I'm going to build a house in these hills. And there's no house in those hills. It's gonna be my first part, I swear. It's going to be called Amaville. Amaville! <laughs> <laughs> That's a dope one. <laughs> Love that. Yeah. I'm telling you, just moho roma hella one to hella, yeah, me hella hello with glasses and everything else. And every time people pass there, they'll just say, yeah, you know who stays there. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. who stays there. Yeah, it's like yeah. Uh, these uh, rich people, politicians, bomahang, bo bomahai. When people pass, they're like, can I? That's my house. Yes. Also. Yeah. You know, every time you pass it, look at like, that's my house. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean. <laughs> so that's what that's what that's what I'm dreaming. That's my goal. That's what I'm working towards. Mm -hmm. And if you don't stop, you can get to it anytime. Anytime. Yeah. So um, you guys as musicians, like this, your day job, like a full time job actually. Yeah. Like you're saying, you're performing like you see yeah, butterflies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a, luck, it's, you know. It's a blessed place. Luck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you perform almost every day. Yes. Yeah, especially towards the festive season. Mm -hmm. Some people don't take this as a professional job, like a proper job. But do you think that you guys are not really supported or whatsoever? No, I take it as a professional job. Mm -hmm. I, I I don't want to lie. It's it's what I do for a living. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. <sighs> You know what? We need to be supported, yes. Mari. We need to produce quality too. Styling and as an as a whole of the battle bats and one who says so rich quality, it makes them deserve the spot. It's pulling us down. You know what I mean? For yeah. now, you don't take the job professionally. You feel like a music is not mad, but one music is not like a dollar. I don't want to lie. Mm -hmm. And there's people who are like, I don't want to lie. You know, I don't want to lie. I don't want to lie. I'm mentioning these things because there's a perception of other people who come in the industry just for the fast, fast cash and fast blowing or just coming in for the wrong reasons. They feel like, hey, I don't want to lie. Because they haven't went through the process of learning, producing quality, going up and being patient with the progress. Some people just want to come, jump in, and then, bah, that's it. No, I used to not have a five table. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I went, I made my, my way through up there, and I'm still making my way through up there still, working 10 times as I could, doing videos as much as I could, taking out the money, doing video that is clean, that is whatever. Going to the studios, making sure I have a mix that is very well mixed. So, I just got to learn this step. And 
the minute we stop doing that, I'm telling you, it can be ten times better. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of music videos, I once shot a music video, your live performance, like it was one it was your first like video and you wanted that video so bad. It took a month for me to give it to you and you never shared it with anyone. <laughs> 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 it took long. Yeah. <laughs> it took long. Maybe that time because yeah. I've never had a video before, right? Yeah. And I, I was seeing it. I didn't know that there could be other better things. So I yeah. discovered other better things. And yours was there was was work. And then. I was like, hey, get a blow, and when people start coming to me for videos. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Whoa, where's that video even? No, I'll look for it. Okay. I'll look for it in my old uh, sure. laptop. <laughs> I like to see old things. They remind me of where I come from far. Where you come from. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, like, as you're talking about uh, consistency and stuff, like, some of your peers also, like, they're suffering from drug abuse and stuff like that, alcoholism. What has held you from not going to the dark side? more especially drugs i think right now we should talk more about drugs than yeah. any other thing because yeah. it's something that is it started as small now it's literally like a, a lifestyle you know mm -hmm. and you can imagine if it's a lifestyle right now what about yeah and it used to be not easily accessible but now you can literally access it as a why yeah. so you see how dangerous it is yeah. it used to be not at the rural places you never think yeah. Yeah. But now the drugs are there, the kids doing those drugs, like mm -hmm. the white powder. That's what we mean. Kind of people, how the drugs are, no, the white powder, the one that you sniff, people are sniffing mm -hmm. hard. And mm -hmm. this whole thing is just like destroying. And I'm so thankful because I'm crazy. I wonder if I took drugs, what would happen? I'll probably break this cameras, bro. You won't have equipment after this. I agree, I know, Rich. I will sue you. But how, how can, can it be dealt with? Like, how, how can it be dealt? Sure, yeah. I don't know, bro. I don't even know. I don't even have an answer for this. But we need campaigns. I think. We need to go back to that life yadi campaign. We should not nyata those things because uh, when you nyata those things, information yeah. is the best thing. Like banabatsunzo mm -hmm. information, and they need to see but when they suffer from uh, consequences of drugs. Yeah. You know, yeah. they need to see. Yeah. Oh my God, do I want to be this person? I don't want to be this person. And this is how I made my decision. I saw people around me who did the drugs, right? Yeah. And how I see them suffering. After they take them, it's like there's, it's like there's a body pain that just goes over them. It's just, oh my God, the experience is horrible. And I thought to myself, I don't want to be, I don't want to be like this. Mm -hmm. So if kids could see those things, do you think that they won't have uh, enough information to, to decide and take proper executive decisions? Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. should campaign. Yeah. Yeah. We, uh, Government theory, the reason. A little one idea to circle the proposal. I guess it's not like those, but what government the banana back and said you in. But if we're now experiencing them firsthand, we should write proposals and take them there. But we want about the whole Sibo Sabana, I did hunted in Zinga. Yeah, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you actually speak Oprah. Why are you not on radio? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'll do well? Yeah, you do like a vibe. You're such a vibe, really. Yeah, well, and a lot radio, of people, yeah, um, well. Uh, let me let me campaign right now. let me throw my cv yeah. hi guys um please anywhere you are all the radio stations i'm calling out to you i'm here available for y'all i don't know which which slot would i do do i need to do a serious one or i need to do like hey we're partying up in this place <laughs> <laughs> which one what are like an afternoon drive your saturday you know about more hyping i'm telling you yeah. like, they'll drink hardware now yeah <laughs> <laughs> kbl should start endorsing you with what Alcohol and money. <laughs> <laughs> money is the right one. <laughs> money is the right one. Yeah. But yeah, I think I'm a vibe and I need to channel it right. You know, when we have conversations like this and we're able to speak, you, you get to figure out yourself as, we, as you go, right? Because yeah. you are speaking. Yeah. So yeah. I believe that I will channel those things as, as I go and I'll try to look at them. Uh -huh. Yes. Because um, also, like, speaking of a vibe, um, a lot of people didn't know actually that you, you can be this loud. No. Yeah. <laughs> Is it because you're comfortable because uh, maybe I've been doing this with you for, for quite some time? No, 
Yeah, I am comfortable. I went, oh. went, but I'm loud, Helen, naturally. Oh. I think now that they're hearing me speak for a long time, hey, I'm not loud, right? Yeah. But I'm, I'm comfortable right now with you. Um, speaking of music, like, what are you working on? Like, what have you released of recent and stuff like? Yo, I was performing the song for the first time, Komole Polole. Well, for the record, I performed Busa for the first time, Komole Polole. Yeah. Um, yo. It's a big song. I don't have to sleep on it, to be honest. Mm -hmm. You know, when you perform a new song and people are singing along, you should know that you have something. Yeah. So I need to push it as much as I can. Busa is a collaboration with me and Hansi, and the song is called Busa. I think it has five days, if I'm not mistaken. And we have shot a video as well as there on YouTube. And then the song is also on the online platforms, iTunes, Spotify. You can name it Deezer, you know, so you can check it out. It's actually pretty cool. It's same Busa Peluyame. This is to all the people who come to people's lives and pretend they love people or they are there, they care, but they know that they're just there for the pum pum. Hey, no, bonyo bonyo. Hey. You can ask for bonyo bonyo, right? right? Bonyo bonyo king, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I can always order like English media. You're not English media. You can literally tell what I mean. You know? You can, is it? Nah. I don't. <laughs> no. When people come for the boyo boyo, they must just specifically say hey. So Busa is literally a song that is just standing up for oneself. I have had enough of of what you have done to me. To all the fathers, when the pregnancy was announced and then you ran, you literally took somebody's peace. This is the actual, the, actually what the song means. Go there and apologize. Anybody who has hurt people, anybody who has only yeah. had it, you yeah. know, bring back people's hearts because so many people are out there going, thing, doubting themselves, feeling they're not enough. Or feeling feeling like, oh, what is wrong with me? What is lacking? Because you have done something, more more the next person. Uh -huh. So we can do better. Uh -huh. no, yeah. I get you. I get you. Mm -hmm. You actually raised a good point. Like with brothers who are leaving kids out there with yeah. baby mamas, yeah, uh, baby mama drama and stuff like that. Yeah, like it's, it's crazy out there. Mm -hmm. It's crazy out there. Like, uh, why would you go and do some bonyo bonyo and then leave someone pregnant? It's bonyo bonyo. Bonyo bonyo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Not yeah. bonyo bonyo, bonyo bonyo. Bonyo bonyo. Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. You know, uh -huh. it's high time people... Like, I just want to give them credit. So, so many of them are really showing up, you know? Uh -huh. Hey, Mari, not all of them, so... So not all of them. So I just wanna urge every man out there who please, if you hey. look the least you could do is just be there. Mm -hmm. Be the support structure. You know, sasi. Hey. Uh, it's your child too. It's not that because the, the, the girl child or the woman is the one carrying the baby. Mm -hmm. And you are making these kids go through traumatic events because but somebody is there eating nice time. Oh, yeah. When your child is suffering and emotionally, physically, yeah. do you understand? No, I get you. Yeah. So this this single is it for an upcoming album or is it just a single? Album? I don't really want to talk about albums. I remember when I, I had I had interviews and I was excited, a little excited. You know what I'll do? Yeah. I'll just be like, oh no, the album is coming out very soon. And I was lying. And I knew I was lying, you know what I mean? Mm. So I don't want to lie anymore. I'm not I'm not a kid anymore. I'm yeah. not under any pressure anymore, which yeah. I'm glad of. I'm free. Mm -hmm. So I just want to say, I'm just going to work on my pace. Yeah. Yes, if I feel like I want to release a single, I'll release a single. If I feel like, like I want to release an album, it will just come, it will just happen. And I'll be ready when I am. And when I'm really ready, that's when I'll announce about the album. Okay, fair yes, enough. Yes. So um, also like these days, Ella, like releasing an album, it's not profitable to releasing a single. Yes. Especially in Botswana. Yes, but you put extra money and extra time in doing an album. Mm -hmm. So it's best you just release the singles and at the end of the day, you just combine them. Then that's it. Mm -hmm. It's an album, isn't it? It is. Compilation yeah. album. Yeah. yeah. So, um, are you making money from royalties? Yeah. Is it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, uh, you mean Cosbots? Yeah, Cosbots. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, mm. Well, the biggest amount that you've made, Kibuka? The biggest amount I've made, I think I've gotten 20,000 from Cosbots. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I think. Uh huh. 
Yeah, I have. What about digital sales? Uh, digital sales, I haven't been so much on digital sales. Yeah. But for VIB as well, I've gotten, yeah, for, v, for VIB, if I put the money all together, I'll say 100,000. 100,000? Yeah. Yes, sir. So far, yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Or more than, yeah. So you're doing it big, bro? Uh, I, I want more. You want more? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want. I don't want to put myself in that situation where I'm gonna say, uh, I'm doing it big because I'll relax. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I'm, that's why I'm happy for my scandals because I almost I was almost relaxing then. Yeah. And then the scandals just made me realize that I need to work ten times. Uh -huh. Yeah. So are you planning on filling up the stadium? something of that sort. Not yet. No yet. Uh -uh. You know, yet of stadium status. No, I don't want to say that about myself, but not yet. Uh -huh. I'm not thinking about that. Uh, I'm just thinking that I need to do big things. Need to big things. Yeah. Also, ba complain na mo industry niya luna. Kati ma South Africa kids ila mo tifin ti ba tuelo ma. Ola na ragi la kaba karata ho ola kiba tu kari kanzi. Hey. I don't know if you remember the Makasi scandal. Yo. What happened? You know somebody saying, hey, na uska wa uaste peka or Makasi high performer. If you don't be a South Africa kids na nato ra ho ruta. Yo, I don't wanna be part of that no more. Yeah. No, 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 no. Hey. Nah. So, what, 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 what's your, what's your, what are you saying to me? What's my take? Yeah. Ah, no, bring them. Bring them? Ah, yeah, yeah I don't want to be part of it. <laughs> nah. Were you complaining about it before? I, I was. Yeah. That's the scandal I gave because when I was strolled around about the issue and I was asking what. Can they now that we are just from COVID, yeah. why is it all of a sudden now we are bringing all these people and... Ah, yeah, yeah. Hey. I don't know, is it because it's me saying it? Yeah. Or what? Kana, it's you and Sadia, the most trolled women in on Facebook, on social it's media. Sadia's trolled? Dude, Aish, bro, it's sad, bro. Really? Yeah, it's very sad. I it's you and Sadia. I don't think she's trolled as I am. Aish, bro, like it says now, if it's, there's an Amadja season, there's a Sadi season. Really? And funny thing is, both of you are, are, are nice human beings. Oh, that's trolling Sadia like that? Yeah, like, bro, like it said. That's sad. Yeah. I can't even say this, the things that they say. Why about. would you stroll Sadi though? Bro. I don't think she speaks even like I speak. Yeah, she's Where very you just calm. Gotta, hey, she's very calm. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. likable. Yeah. And I want people to understand that you, you may do things <clears throat> out of influence that people are doing it, but these things really break us, man. I don't want to lie. They break you they as break an us. individual. Yeah. Uh -huh. They break our inner man, they break our spirit. So uh -huh. people need to really understand this. So guys, before you do it, just think about it. Think about if it was me, how would I feel? Yeah. 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 What's the worst troll that really hit you hard? I think the name, the name, the name one. Yeah. Because I worked hard for this brand, and for them to know that name, the Amante Brown name, for it to have a ring to your mind when it's mentioned, is because of me. Mm -hmm. And when the scandal was happening, everybody was, every, everybody else was making it seem like they don't know who I am, and that was literally like a bullet to my heart. Never what claim? Yeah. It's fine. I'm over it. Matata Kuru, you don't look for me when you're in trouble, can I? Like I'm the big brother. <laughs> <laughs> Why is the big brother not looking for me? You should be looking for me. No, I can't wait to go to Nakla because you're not She's watching, she will, she, I'll be in trouble. Who? <laughs> you. Hey. Hey, yo. No, you. she knows I'm joking. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so before we shut it down, Ella, like, just sell, sell us everything that you are yeah, doing at the moment. Okay, Even your Jolo issues and stuff like that. No, hi guys, my <laughs> name is Amanda Brown and I'm a singer-songwriter and I'm very single and searching and ready to mingle. I can't lie, I'm going to get it on my head. <laughs> well, <laughs> well. Uh, first of all, I'm a singer-songwriter and the first, first, first thing that I'm really passionate about is actually music. And I do music, uh, I, I classify it as R&B pop. And I've done songs like Black Mpatile, Moratiwa, Sapelo, Follow. And now I feel like I'm a grown Amantle, that is the younger version of me. And the grown version of me is free. The grown version of me is like, are able to make wiser decisions and I am ready to make new music and give it out there. So right now I've released a song with Hansi called Busa. It's out in all digital platforms, uh, iTunes, uh, it's there on YouTube, it's there on Spotify. 
and then you can even check out our video as well it's pretty brand new on the other hand I have a car wash right behind me it's a phase four <laughs> behind the quota so bring your cars bring your babies we have where you can sit and soon we're gonna start even like having food so you can just have a one spot where you bring your car you can buy food you can eat and everything else and lastly I have my new baby oh my god I love this it's, it's I'm a built tongue and I haven't yet put it out in the market but you can put orders on 76456347 7, we can literally produce bulk for you but as we're still in talks to put it across in the filling stations we will keep you uh, updated check out my page Amatla Brown uh, check out my my page on Facebook and then check out my Instagram Amatla Brown official check out my Twitter Amatla Brown to get all the updates about what I just hooked you with boom but he just gave them your phone number so I wanna like can't tell you more room like the message but hey baby it's a business number, guys. I can buy it for another forex. If you love when I'm at home, bam, it because wow. Because wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Amanda, bro, you've been a vibe, bro. Thank you. We could do this like every day. I appreciate it. Yeah. Yes. You can close with like a sweet vocal, I can't, man. Can't you hear my voice, like? Crazy. Like a sweet vocal, yeah. yeah, yeah no, 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 no. <laughs> All right, guys. It's a wrap. Well, see you next week with a new guest. Boom. Ha, 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 ha.